looking up into my glidizia tree. Look, I'm looking at the glidizia blossom. The glidizias are all in bloom. It's spring here, and they're all in bloom. They smell a bit like ginger. There's thousands of blooms on this tree, and they're attracting the bees everywhere. Everywhere they are. They're attracting bees. And that means in a few months time I'll have beautiful glutitia pods and this time I'll eat them while they're green. I'll scoop all the pulp out of the pods like, an, like for an ice cream and I'll enjoy it. I won't let them go all hard and like cardboard. Beautiful stuff. I tasted them and that's gorgeous. Beautiful green pulp. Very worthwhile tree. Can you hear the bees? Or is it too windy? Well, here we are. It's some weeks later now. There's been some nice summer rain, early summer rain. This is a glidditia tree, honey locust tree. Look what's happened, there's no more flowers. But there are long honey locust beans. And this is a thornless one, so they're easy to harvest. Look at them. I'm going to eat them this year. Instead of letting them become like old cardboard, I'm going to eat them when they uh, when they fill out with green pulp. I'm just going to bring my teaspoon. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to bring a teaspoon and enjoy the beautiful green pulp inside them. It's too soon yet, but it might just be a matter of weeks now. Beautiful tree. Beautiful honey locust pods everywhere. Member of the pea family. Bean family, the leguminosae, isn't it? I think that's what it's called, that family. Beautiful pods. Just go to bring my spoon and a teaspoon and scrape all the delicious honey sweet pulp out. Have it on ice cream or in a fruit salad. Lovely stuff. Beautiful. This is a thornless one, also known as Enermis, I-N-E-R-M-I-S. But it's good to have the ones with thorns too, because it means, well, cats aren't going to climb up into a, a thorny tree. So the, thorn, the, the thorned ones are good for birds. Well, here's another young, here's another young Gladitia tree. Uh, an enormous one without any thorns, but these pods are a brown colour, so there's obviously a difference. They're still juvenile pods. They're not full of honey sweet pulp yet, but they'll be nice in a few weeks' time, won't they? Quite a lot, lots of them. Look at them, lots of them. Lots of them. The tree's just hanging with them. All that beautiful free food. It's all for me, isn't it? It's all for me. It's just everywhere. Look, it's just everywhere. And this is an enormous tree, so they're easy to pick because there are no thorns. There are no thorns on this one. Very handy. This one doesn't seem to have any beans on it this year. Not many, not yet. But look, this one is a thorny one. Look, horrific thorns. That's why you don't have to worry about birds and cats. Look at the size of those thorns. This one doesn't seem to have any, hardly any beans on it at all. I can see a bean over there, but... Well, yes. Shocking thorns, yes, they're terrible. Terrible, horrific. Look at that, listen. Still. It's a nice shapely tree. Look at all those big thorns. Here's another one, a young thornless, a thornless one. Yes. Look at them all. This tree is festooned in uh, honey locust beans. Just look at them. That's pretty good. All free food. 
That's pretty good. I think it's pretty good.